welcome to the Bonneterie in, uh, in Alst, in this wonderful place. Three years already it has been since the last time we met and then we had our Kappa Day in the factory hall in, uh, in Zwijnaar. It's already three years ago. What we saw in those last three years was an enormous consolidation, in fact, in the IT industry. You had a lot of vendors who were buying other vendors. You had distributors buying other distributors. You had reseller groups which became even bigger than before. And you had a huge consolidation in that market. So there was a big change. And Patrick, what did we do during uh, that period with uh, Kappa Data? Yeah, Chris, what did we do? That's a good question. Um, the first thing we, we did was try to find some expertise, some extra expertise. We as a management team, we got challenged by a lot of things that we were not used to be challenged with. Uh, so some extra uh, guidance was, was helpful. Uh, so we decided to take on board an investor and we found the perfect match with a company called uh, Investlink, company, private equity company uh, founded by Hans van Erum, Frank Stout and Bert van Loco. Our ambition is to be an international value distributor. Today we are active in Belgium, Netherlands, um, Luxembourg, Poland and France. Um, and our idea is to become uh, for vendors the first alternative for the biggest, the bigger pan-European uh, vets. But we want to do one thing very different and that is we want to keep strong focus on the limited set of product lines. Uh, long-term stability is a key word for us. We want long-term relationships with both our partners um, and our, uh, our vendors. For us, long-term stability also means long-term strategy that you need to develop within, uh, within the group. Um, and for us, we are going to focus, in fact, on three points which are for us uh, important. First of all, the first one is what do you do with your actual vendors that you're carrying in your portfolio? We need to make sure that we are and important for the partner, but also important for uh, the actual vendors in our portfolio. So we want that business to grow as fast as possible for that, uh, for that partner. And we have a couple of examples of that in, uh, in the last uh, three years and how we did it. And the first one is, uh, is Extreme Networks. Uh, this year we were nominated as a Black Diamond uh, distributor for Extreme Networks, which in my eyes is really an achievement because uh, you should know that only seven distributors in Europe can carry the title of Black Diamond Distributor for Extreme Networks. So that's really, for us, a, a nice achievement as a, as a Belgian district. So the second one is Sophos. Please, an applause. <laughs> so yeah, for Sophos, uh, there we managed, in fact, in the last two years, since we took over the contract of Ozus, we were managing, in fact, to triple our revenues with Sophos in the Belux market, which also was a great achievement and by, by, by Sophos, and by the partners, and by uh, our sales team. And then third, the third one is, is Juniper Mist, uh, which for you guys most probably is known as a brand which is expensive, enterprise-driven, uh, and which is not really known in, the, let's say, in that middle market uh, segment. Well, there, together with and the partners and with Juniper Mist, we were able to create a mid-channel market for Juniper Mist. How is the market changing? How is business done? What is the business model? Because also there we see a, a couple of changes in, in our markets. And we have a couple of Dutch people over here from uh, out of Holland, and they will recognize that the MSP business in the Netherlands is already uh, taking high flights in, in the Netherlands. We do see that popping also up in uh, the Belgian market, and we do see some trends now and some traction that this business is accelerating in the next coming months and next coming years. When we go to a partner, we always ask the question, how can we help you? Actual question, I think. What's the answer of the partner? Most of the time, are you going to bring me some leads? Sweet. Most of the time, 90% of the time, that's a question that we receive from our partner. And he's right. And so we as a management team, we put our heads together and we said to ourselves, I think we can generate leads for our partners and for our vendors. And that's the reason why we created a telemarketing division in which we work closely together with and the partner and the, and the vendor. And by doing so, we are able to really create and choose the leads for our partners. So if you need more information about that, just ask Patrick or myself and we will be happy to uh, give you a hand in hand. Now, besides the say the physical stuff of getting in touch with partners and getting them on the phone, 
There's also a new reality, which is digital marketing. Right? Also there, you can generate leads. That's also why we invested a lot of money in our new websites. And this new website has been nourished by, yeah, let's say, blog posts, which are being done by our BDM team, and which contain a lot of information which is, let's say, interesting and for the end user and for the partner. And by doing so, we're also creating digital leads, which are also passed on to uh, the reseller. But I think that's not the only one, what, only thing that we did, uh, Patrick. No. Um, an important one is uh, when I talked earlier about um, uh, our investor coming on board, it was clear that also Capadata would go on the hunting path. And this was uh, done by the takeover of uh, uh, Exair, uh, a French uh, distributor. Exair is almost the same size as Capadata, so it was a big takeover. Um, and my French, People that know me a little bit better know that my French is not my most important asset. But you understand the numbers in French, uh, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> the DNA of Exer and the DNA of Capadata was equal. And the exercise we could do was a typical one plus one is three exercise, if it was done right. Um, to do it right, it was important to keep the exam management on board, and that's the reason why uh, we decided to take uh, uh, Michel Grunspan, who is the former CEO of Exer, into our uh, uh, shareholders agreement, shareholders uh, boards. And maybe this is the perfect moment to introduce Michel uh, to all of you. So Michel, if you want to step on board. Welcome, Michel. Thank you. Finally, we have the opportunity to present you to the, uh, to the Belgium crowd. Remember, we had a lot of discussions before the, uh, let's say, the annexation uh, of France, Belgium, etc. Um, and I'm sure there were a lot of candidates who were eager to, uh, to talk to you and to, uh, to have a cooperation with you guys with Exer in France. Uh, but my question is pretty simple, is why did you choose for, uh, for Capatado? The answer is people. People make the difference. People work with people. And people, well, we need to have a good match. And we had a great match. As Patrick said, both companies had similar DNA. Both companies have been 25 years in that business. Both companies have very committed teams. And we are working on similar technologies. Uh, it's been almost one year. Uh, when we were making the numbers, we were aiming for around 65 million as a group in the first year. Uh, the year is not over yet, but we probably exceed the 85 million. And we see still that there is momentum to be acquired, to be gained next year, because we believe that the cybersecurity and IT infrastructure are areas on which you know, corporations and companies are going to continue to invest. Mm -hmm.